1100 meters flags up they sprinting captain bombshell jumped awkwardly and african skyline drops anchor for the first hundred meters Calling from the inside, Quasi for sure showing good early speed, cabinet shuffle. Chocolate bomb, black egrets right there and hit them hard, sunshine, the purple cap, probably just about the leader with Quasi for sure. King of the Gauls, blue cap and orange body on the right hand side, followed by Cliffhanger. Slim Yanni's three lengths off the leaders, good traveller further back in the running. At this point in time, Don Carari waits quietly to the outside. Beach and Wood Boy, Sovereign State. African Skyline's going to try and weave through. Coming inside the 300 and King of the Gauls quickly moves up and hits the front under the hands. King of the Gauls the one to get to. Quasi for sure at the rail and hit the mod sunshine between them. King of the Gauls the last hundred. Quasi for sure's on the inside but it's King of the Gauls superior today. Quasi for sure second. Hit the mod sunshine and Black Egret. Well, obviously, Sean Veal got to jump aboard King of the Ghouls, and one would imagine because of the 52.5 kilograms, because Richard Faree knows King of the Ghouls exceptionally well, and the Tony Riverland inmate has shown his ability, and he showcases it here today. Number 12, King of the Ghouls, by a length and a half. Quasi for sure second, hit them hard, Sunshine third, and then came Black Egret. Bred by the main chance farms, Don Karori further back in the run. So King of the Gauls was quick to pounce coming to the 300 meter marker. Hands and heels by Seanville came into the lead and hit the front. Quasi for sure's on the inside and hit them hard sunshine between runners. These are the three fighting it out. Black Egret's getting into it late on. The balance of the field onlookers at this stage and it's one way traffic the last 100 meters. Number 12 King of the Gauls becomes a full time winner from nine racecourse appearances.